Good morning everybody and welcome to Steve4K. Um, today I will show you a mod in my mod showcase called USO Unlocked Settlement Objects by Andrew CX. Now when Andrew first released this I did a mod showcase for PS4. This one will also be on PS4 but this one is a lot more advanced, there's a lot more items in it. Um, so today I will be showing you the updated version of how USO currently stands. So, let's open up the build menu. There we go. Right, so we've got... So, I'll quickly show you first. Sorry. Um, you go into your build menu as normal, and you'll have the tabs as normal, but what you want to do is scroll right to the end and you'll see USO integrated. That is the tab you want to go into to get all of Andrew's unlocked settlement objects. Um, one last thing before I continue, I'd also like to thank Andrew so much for um, giving us PS4 users the chance to have some extra items in game, especially when it comes to the building. So thank you very much, Andrew. Right, so we will go through m as much of the tabs as I can. Um, I don't want to make the video too long, and so I'll give you a brief. Um, showing of what we've got. So the structures are normal. You've got your wood, me metal, concrete, warehouse, barn, vault, scaffolds, doors, fences and walls, ball tracks, shipping containers and crates, vehicles, airplane wreckage, capsules, industrial and miscellaneous buildings. Now these buildings I will quickly show you are absolutely huge. So as you can see this is the Mylark Vat sorry from um, Far Harbour. Um, it doesn't have the Mylark in it but I'm sure you'll be able to get something to plop inside it. So that's that. Um, telescope base. Hold on, let's zoom this one out a bit. Um, I'm not quite sure what this is from. Oh I wonder if this is from the submarine actually. Um, mini spoiler there. Um, so we've got that. We've got. Hold on. Stay back a bit. Zoom out. It won't zoom out, but rest assured that it is absolutely huge, that one. Um, so there's some shacks. Um, some other bits and pieces. So I'll just go through them all for you. Um, so here we go. We've got a cola car cage from Nuka World. Um, Mausoleum, that's from the Oh, that's from the graveyard area. That you find in the game. Radio Tower. A red rocket. So yeah, these are like full size buildings these. And down to shack, pillar, electrical towers, corners, houses. These are kind of busted houses. <coughs> so yeah. Um so I'm going to do a shameful plug now and ask people if you could please sub to my channel. Um, I do a lot of Fallout 4 videos currently, mod showcases, playthroughs, um, <clears throat> the odd tips and tricks. Um, I also do some videos on uh, Grand Theft Auto, um, I'm hoping to do a big series on Horizon Zero Dawn. Um, so yeah, most of them are playthroughs, but yeah, please do check the channel, you might find something useful, and as always, if you could leave a like and subscribe, I would be very, very thankful. So yeah, as you're seeing here, there's so many items here. And um, what I will quickly do, because I'm sure somebody's probably asking now whether these snap together. To my knowledge, I don't believe they do. Um, let's see. No. So what you what you're gonna have to do is position them in the best you can, um, <clears throat> or you can use the rug or pillar glitch, which might also help. <clears throat> so there you go. That actually snaps quite well without it. But I'm sure there will be other items that will just be like a real pain. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, okay. So you will need the rug and pillar glitch for that, which I will put a video up on my channel at some point if there's enough people who'd like to see how it's done. So you've got 
cut short. Um, what's that? That's a cut short wall. I'm trying to keep it as far out in an awkward place as you can see, so it does a no place mint kind of push out so you can see what the items actually look like. So yeah, I'll scroll a little faster. So yeah, as you can see, Andrew has added many, many items into this. <coughs> so once again, I'd like to thank Andrew for um, giving us these mods for settlement building. Um, these items are also available on PC and Xbox One. So what I will do is down in the description below, I will put all the links down there for um, those consoles and um, oops, um, so people can download it. Um, Apologise for my stuttering there. Um, I was just concentrating on what was going on there. So here we have some airplane debris seats, lots of bits and pieces. I think you get the idea of that. What else we got? We've got vehicles. As you can see, I'm at Starlight Driving currently, so there's already a lot of vehicles sitting around. So we've got buses, rick buses, new world buses. What's this one? Bus stops. So as you can see, Andrew's brought us many, many items. Um, he also regularly updates um, the files, so be sure to always check when you jump onto your game to quickly go into the mods, log in and check to see if there's an update out. Um, so this is clean version of it. Yep. Just absolutely brilliant to be honest. I mean as you can see, if I was to dump this here it just matches them perfectly with everything else, so... Um, did I go into the boat's tab? Nope. Whoa! There's a fishing boat, rowing boat... What's that? What was that? Sorry. Cabin, crow's nest, boat cabin... Um, what else we got? Cars and vans, trucks and trailers, I'm sure it's pretty much the same. Already been in there, sorry. Alright, been in there, been in there. Where we've got containers and crates. But as you can see, Andrew's also created lots of new tabs and organised it so it's just easy to find. So as you can see he's literally given us everything possible. I'm not sure if there's anything in the ball track section. I don't think there is. I think it's just what came in the contraptions DLC. Um, fences and walls. I know there's new junk fences because I do remember checking them out and seeing there's the super super tall walls and where are they? Here we go. So you got lots of big huge junk walls, barbed wire wall, plain wall, boarded, boarded with um, barb, flatted with barb, just so many brilliant pieces for construction here. Um, doors. Oh, I forgot. So we've got the standard doors. Right through them. Do, 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 Here we go. So we've got. I think it's an institute door. We've got bulkhead doors from boats. Oh, can't quite see that. Let's go over here a minute. Let's see what that is. Such as a white door. Another one. Another bulkhead. Right, rocket door, jail doors, because I know a lot of people like to build um, kind of jails for the Minutemen or police builds or there's a bookcase too. Um, so I've got, I've got a fault door, double doors, castle doors, which will help with rebuilding the castle. Garage doors. I'm not actually sure how that garage door will work, but what I could quickly do, can I clip it anywhere? So let's just clip it there a minute. Quickly come up with build mode and does that open like a garage door? It does not all. Absolutely brilliant. And there you go. 
so it would seem that most of the items would actually have a function as well which is really really awesome I'm not sure how scripting of these kind of things works obviously but um, such a terrific job to me to unlock these items <coughs> so yeah as you can see there's just tons of doors I could go through them all day long and um, a lot of this so boxcars elevators I don't think there's any new elevators oh there is sorry there's red there's yellow um, scaffolding I briefly remember that there were some new bits of scaffolding put out um, so here we go lots of bits and pieces um, so yeah I better go through this a bit quick so I don't want to make it too long as I mentioned before um, vault pieces I do remember there's vault pieces I also have a USO um, vault tech DLC um, mod downloaded. I also have a Nuka World one, a Contraptions one, and an Automatron. Once again, I'll put all the d download links in the description below um, for Xbox One, PC, and PS4. Um, I don't know what's new here, but I do know there's new parts. Um, it's been so long since I built a vault. <laughs> um, I'm not sure what's new. These are new, I believe. I think these are new. And um, what's this? Domestic to be damaged. Yeah, here's some damage bits. I don't remember them being part of the DLC. So, kind of give you a rougher looking vault if that's the one you want, rather than a pristine queen vault. I um, don't know what's in utility, but I could have a quick look. Just the same bits, I think, but in red. I remember how the DLC worked. Um, White halls, let's check rooms. So you got common administration, barber, cafeteria, clinic, lavatory, nursery, overseer, high class blue, high class green, high class red, white, quarters one, two, three, four, school, security, utility. So I know for a fact that a lot of that's new, so that's really good. Um, so let's show off. So here's high class green. It's got like this nice posh floor with the bits on it, so I presume the wallpaper should be the red version. Yeah, and then the white version, and then blue and so on. Um, what else we got? Overseer, nursery. Don't remember nursery being in. So yeah, there's nursery. And um, what else we got? We've got damage rooms just in that atrium. Atrium damage parts, vault doors. I'm not sure if there's any other vault doors. There's glass. Oh, there's a damage door. So that's kind of cool. Railings and stairs. Don't think there's too much new there. Right, let's back out of this. Let's quickly go. Right, what? Well, there's one thing I did request off of Andrew on the uh, Bethesda mod page, and that was for the turret stand from Covenant. Um, and he got back to me saying that it was in miscellaneous wood. So let's have a quick look for that now. So bridges, fences. What's this? Pier parts. Um, what's this? This is bridges. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm sure people could find a creative way to use it. Shack floor, did I miss the turret stand? Knowing me, I probably did. Um, no, I haven't. I don't see it, but um, I'm sure it's there somewhere. I'm just missing it. Yep, sorry, I did. So. I don't know how well this well it seems to clip under the top of that building okay so just to show people how it quickly works it'll just work like the way it does in Covenant so what I'm gonna want is I'm in the wrong bit defense guard post sorry not guard post I want turret sorry and um, can I do I have a turret I can use no I don't have a turret I can use some of it's been moved, but let's just stick this up here for the sake of it. So let's just say paintball gun. There we go. Sits up there just fine as you can see. So while well, I'm quickly here actually, I'll quickly go through traps. Um, I'm out of resources and some stuff, so I apologise if you can't quite see it. Um, is there any guard tower? Sure there, so let's just say that's to the guard post. Oh, gunners, 
guard post, brotherhood steel, mat. So basically what you do is you can make your own thing, place the mat there, assign a settler, and um, there you go. They're ready to go. So um, there's just so much here. I could literally show you all day long. But um, you kind of get the gist of it now. There's so much you can be building with now. So if you like what you see, please do feel free to go along and hit the links below and download. Um, that brilliant stuff Andrew's given us. As you can see, there's like brick walls and everything. So I'll just have a quick flush through to make sure there's nothing else that's good. Oh, there's carpets, whatever that is. So we've now got floor parts, what it looks like. Ooh, can't see it. Maybe there's a way. Oh, hold on, that was it. So there's, as you can see, there's bits here with um, carpet on them, which is great. Um, all different parts. So yeah, what I will do now is I will finish up here. So as mentioned many times before, go down in the description below, check out those links, um, and um, enjoy building and follow it forward with USO. So without further ado, thank you very much. Goodbye.